Hi everyone, today's palette review is going to be on the ColourPop Main Squeeze palette. This review will of course have my thoughts on all of the shadows, swatches, and five different eye looks. Starting right off by talking about the packaging, this is part of ColourPop's, what we've now started to call like their monochromatic nine pan palette collection. So this is the red version called Main Squeeze and the packaging is very similar to all the other ones that they've been putting out. It is plastic packaging, they have the shade names on the back, and when you open it, you've got a huge mirror that is the size of the palette, as well as your nine shadows on the inside. This palette does retail for $12 US, and you're getting nine grams of product in here, so it is one gram per shadow. What's interesting to point out about this one, though, is that it's actually a pressed powder palette. It's not actually labeled as an eyeshadow palette, because if you look on the back, it says three of the shades are not actually intended for the eye area, and they are Like It's Hot, Maraschino, and Home Slice, which would be these three shades right here. I am somebody who's not especially sensitive to pigments in eyeshadows, so anything that's usually marked not eye safe or not for the eye area, I pretty much ignore. But if you're somebody who has sensitivities to powder products, then beware of those three shadows in this palette. I'm gonna slide in some swatches now so you can see exactly how these shadows look like swatched out on my arm. Now that you've seen the swatches, let's talk a little bit more about the shadows that are in here. The first thing I have to point out is just how much I love the shimmery colors in here. I find them to be probably some of the best that ColourPop has put out. I have really enjoyed all of their eyeshadows in recent months, but there's something really special about the shimmers in this palette in particular. They are soft, they are buttery. Some of them actually go on a little bit foiled without me actually spraying my brush with water, which is a trick that I tend to do if I want a shadow to just be a little bit more reflective. So many of these go on almost foiled in texture already that you really don't even need to wet your brush. I mean, they do go a little bit more foiled if you apply some wetness to your brush, but you can get away with wearing these just as is and you'll have no problems whatsoever. They're so, so nice to apply. They are so smooth on the lid. So specifically I'm talking about, well, Baywatch, honestly, I think that was the best one for me. That one was like butter. And then Maraschino, Juicy Fruit, and Home Slice are gorgeous. They are lovely to apply, they are smooth, and they are incredibly pigmented. I was honestly a little bit surprised about how much I like the shimmers in this palette because in general I tend to be drawn more towards matte colors and for me matte shadows are really what make an eye look so I kind of looked at the shimmers initially and was like eh, whatever I don't really care about you but in practice I found that they really brought out the most interesting aspects of this palette and I think that comes down to the fact that I find the matte shadows almost a little bit too similar in tone. I understand that this is a monochromatic palette, but I actually don't feel like there's a ton of shade variety amongst the reds. In the other monochromatic palettes that ColourPop has put out, I do feel like there was enough tonal difference in a lot of the shadows that I could get very different looks. Often I felt that some of these colors didn't look any different on my eyes when applied. For example, I feel like Frosé and Big Gulp are very similar, like to the point where I don't think anybody would notice if you were wearing one or the other. Uh, Big Gulp does have a little bit more of an orange tinge to it, whereas Frosé is a little bit more pink, but it is almost indecipherable on the eye between those two colors. I was also really surprised about how pale I found Seed Money to be. I thought that this was more of like a medium deep shade, but in practice, it tended to go quite light on my eyes. So really the only deep color you have in here is Red Bottoms, which is um, the one that you're gonna be using to deepen up any kind of eye look but you're basically stuck with just that shade to make anything deeper. It is a nice color, but uh, it's funny, I almost don't think that it's deep enough. It could have had a little bit more black in that base to add a lot of dimension to looks, especially considering the fact that so many of these fall into sort of that mid-light mid range of color. They're almost a little bit too similar for me, and I would have preferred some like paler shades as well as some more deeper ones as well. 
That being said, that's my take on the shadows that are in this palette. In practice, the colors are really good and they work really well together. I do love the shimmery uh, formula the most in this palette, but the mattes are quite good as well. I did find that they kind of caught a little bit on my eye at times, so you'd have to buff them out a little bit more in order to get a seamless blend. But it wasn't anything extreme where I really felt like I was struggling with the shadow. It's just something I wanted to mention. In the end, my favorite colors in here ended up being Home Slice because that's a beautiful shimmery red color. I really liked Baywatch, which is, it's funny, it's, it's in the red palette and it's got some tinge of red to it, but I, there's a lot of brown in that base as well. And then I really liked Like It's Hot because I am a sucker for real red matte shadows. All right, those are my thoughts on some of the shadows. So let's take a deeper look into the five eye looks that I created using this palette. The first look uses Frosé in the crease. That's a really easy crease color to use. I know it's quite red, but it does work out really nicely in the crease area. I used Baywatch on the lid, and this is when I discovered just how smooth and pigmented this shade is. It is absolutely beautiful. I used red bottoms on the outer corner of the eye to deepen it up, and then I put maraschino on the inner corner of the eye. It is not an especially luminescent color, so you won't find that it really brightens up the inner corner of your eye. You'd have to apply something a little bit brighter and paler in that area if you wanted more light in that area. I also used frosé and red bottoms on the lower lash line. Look number two uses a big gulp through the crease. This one has a little bit more of an orange tinge compared to Frosé, but honestly, I can't see a huge difference on my eyes. I put Like It's Hot below the crease to really amp up the redness of Big Gulp. And then I put Maraschino on the lid. I followed it up with Seed Money on the outer corner at first, but it was too pale. I just don't feel like this was a deep enough shade. So I ended up going over it with red bottoms just to really bring some depth to that outer corner. And here I use Juicy Fruit on the inner corner of the eye, which is a lot brighter than Maraschino. So I would recommend using Juicy Fruit on the inner corner in comparison to Maraschino. For look number three, I decided to do a cut crease and I'm really only using three shadows here, which is kind of cool. So I've got Like It's Hot through the crease. I just layered that in pretty heavily. And then I cut my sort of inner corner crease with concealer and then applied Juicy Fruit on top of that concealer. So it really stood out and I've got a harsh line between where my crease is and where my lid is. And then I've got red bottoms on the outer corner of the eye and just sort of blended between Juicy Fruit and red bottoms to get like a smoother blend. For look number four, I did something really simple just because I wanted to see if there was that much difference between Big Gulp and Frosé. So what I have here is Big Gulp on the lid, which is that little bit more orange tinted shade, and then I've got Frosé on the outer half of the lid. When you line them up side by side, you can see that one is more pink versus more orange. But again, in practice, I don't think anybody would notice the difference between these two colors. It is a pretty eye look though, considering it is just two colors. It's, it's quite simple to do. For today's look, I decided to do a halo eye, which is not something I generally do, but I'm trying to branch out. So I have Frosé all the way through my crease and drag that pretty deep into the inner corner of my eye because I want that to be on the outer perimeter. I then use Like It's Hot just below Frosé and drag that through the inner corner as well. I really wanted that whole section to be like I guess the top of a rainbow really over top of my eye. I then took Home Slice on a damp brush and put that on the outer and inner thirds of my eye because I wanted the halo to sort of like cascade into a brighter color, but I wanted to start with something that's a little bit more shimmery on those sort of outer and inner thirds. And then for the middle of the lid, which I left blank, I'm using Juicy Fruit on a wet brush. I actually found using it wet here went on a little bit too stark, so I ended up patting that on first and drying it down, but then I use a smaller, fluffier brush and kind of blend it around the edges to sort of fade that halo out. For the lower lash line, I have Like It's Hot on the inner and outer thirds of the lid. And then just to finish off the halo, I've got Juicy Fruit on the very center and blended that into Like It's Hot on both sides. In the end, I quite like how this halo look came out, but I was scared for a little bit because the gold in the center from Juicy Fruit was so stark that I didn't think it was gonna work out, but blending around the edges of it really helped to fade it out and make it a little bit more of a softer halo eye. All right, so to summarize my thoughts on the main squeeze palette, I do like it, but it is more similar in tones than I had anticipated. And I realize that sounds funny because I mean, we're talking about a monochromatic palette, but in practice, I do feel like the other monochromatic palettes have had a little bit more variety in them. Now the shimmers in here are fantastic. I was really blown away with them because I think there is a lot of diversity amongst those four. 
they're really, really good. Where I kind of got let down a little bit is with the matte shadows. I just find they're a little bit too similar to each other, especially as I mentioned, Froze and Big Gulp. There's not enough difference between those two colors, personally for me, to warrant having both of them in here. While I did like red bottoms, I do wish I'd actually had another deeper color in here, just something a little bit more with a deeper black base to it. Seed money for me really, I don't know, it looks deep in the pan, but in practice I just felt like it was too pale on my eye. Anyway, all of that being said, I'm nitpicking on this one just because I love red eyeshadows so much and I'm always looking for like the perfect red eyeshadow palette. And I had hoped that this would be that. And I do quite like it, don't get me wrong, but there are some aspects of it that I just wish were a little bit different. However, I love playing with this. I think I came up with some great eye looks. It was a lot of fun to use. And if you've been wanting to dabble into red eyeshadow but you're a little bit too scared to pull the trigger, try this. I mean, it's a $12 palette. It's really inexpensive in terms of makeup. And you're getting nine shadows that are really fantastic to use, especially those shimmers. I'm so impressed with those shimmers. They complement this palette so well. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my review on the ColourPop Main Squeeze Palette. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye.